Okay, today we're going to be cleaning the MAF, which stands for Mass Airflow Sensor. This is located uh, on a V8 Mustang 4.6 litre right here. Uh, and this is the air filter. Um, it's good practice to clean the Mass Airflow Sensor, you can see right there, uh, when you clean or replace your air filter. Okay, what happens when your MAF is faulty or dirty? Well, the engine is hard to start or has trouble turning over. The engine stalls soon after starting. The engine drags or hesitates when idle or under load. The engine hesitates and jerks during acceleration. The engine hiccups or the engine displays unusually lean or rich idling. So, how to clean it? You can either use this stuff here. Uh, from Home Depot, it was around $8. And it's the proper stuff right there. Um, or you can use rubbing alcohol, the um, good stuff, maybe 90% or more, which you can get from Walgreens. Okay, so now all that's out of the way. The actual job of the MAF is to deliver the correct fuel mass to the engine. So those problems I just described, uh, you can imagine if not enough fuel is getting to the engine, it's going to have trouble uh, uh, starting and things like that. Um, the first thing we want to do to take this off is unscrew this flat head here and that should pop our air filter off next step uh, another flat head on these two right here and then we should be able to pull this section off including the sensor right there uh, there's also a um, an input cable here you can just unclip that right there and it comes right out right so I took the air filter out right here unplug this little cable there uh, and then these flat heads so it's really pretty loose the only other thing, uh, this bracket here is being held on by a tiny little nut there. So just take that off and everything should slip right out. Alright, so this is it. Took the whole thing off. Seems easier that way, you know. And there is the MAF itself. See those tiny wires? Oh, they're responsible for analyzing all the air that passes through and passing it to the computer from those wires we just unplugged. So if there's lots of particles and stuff on there, it's going to provide uh, invalid readings and not give our engine enough fuel. So that's why we have trouble starting it. So let's give this a bit of a clean and go from there. So we have our sensor cleaner. You can see the uh, tiny wires there, that's what we're going to be cleaning. Uh, here's our stuff that we're using. There's actually instructions on the back, so I guess follow them. Uh, if you can't be bothered to read, you want 10 to 15 sprays all around uh, those sensors, because that's what we're cleaning. And turn it all around, get it from both sides, give it a good clean. And before you put it back in the car, uh, make sure it's thoroughly dry. Uh, before you do that, so a good 10-20 minutes of drying. Uh, give it a shake beforehand just to get the drips off. Then, yeah, do make sure it's uh, perfectly dry before you put it back in.